Uh, greetings to everyone who's watching this right now. My name is Mr. Chimba. And then um, today we'll be learning about electrical engineering, which is basically ETT, electrical trade theory, and and two. So I'm going to start with the first topic, which is the conductors and cables. The first chapter that you find on ETT and two. So for those who are doing their electrical engineering, uh, this is the right time to tune in. And then if it's your first time, you subscribe and click the notification button. So each and every time I post anything, you're going to to say. So as I said. Today we are going to learn about the conductors and cables. Uh, remember, we have the method uh, to install the cables. We have different type of what of cables that you know, and then we have the method that we use to install those those cables, which include the opening air, the, uh, the duct, and then also the the bedded cables. And each have the, uh, each and every method it have its own advantages and and disadvantages, and you should know about those. And then we also have the, uh, <coughs> the factors to be considered when you are selecting my uh, cables. We have different factors, so. Basically, today I want to, uh, to carry on the, on, the, on the calculation on the first uh, topic. So basically, if you know, we have uh, one type of power, we have three type of powers that we know. Uh, if you are doing your ETT entry, you have three type of powers that you know, which include uh, three types of power, which is the reactive power, the apparent power, and then also the, the true power. So the formula to calculate the reactive power, which is Q, is going to be uh, V multiplied by I, multiplied by sine, sine theta, your V, which is the voltage, and then I, which is the current and then uh, sine theta and then <coughs> this way but you are given an angle and then it's measured in v var and then we also have what we call the apparent apparent power which is as uh, the formula to calculate the apparent power is going to be the voltage multiplied by the by the current and the si unit which is the bl and then we also have what we call the the true power which is the last type of what of power that we have which is uh, p is equal to v i multiplied by cos cos theta which means uh, if you know your cos theta is going to be what your power, your power factor. So sometimes, they, how do you determine which power uh, you'll be given? You can check either with the with the uh, SI unit, or sometimes they can they can state which type of power. Sometimes they can give you just the, the SI unit. That's why, but you notice which type of power are uh, you given. And then we also have what we call the formula to calculate the permissible voltage. It's going to be the five percent multiplied by the the supply, which is the uh, uh, supply voltage. So. <clears throat> These are three types of powers, and these are three types of power that you can calculate. Or sometimes they can give you to calculate the voltage or to calculate what? Uh, the current. So, <clears throat> without wasting much of your time, firstly, we can do the first example that I have here from the question paper, from the past question paper, which is April 2019. Okay, I'm just gonna do <coughs> question 1.1.1. So, 1.1, it said that. Uh, what line current will have 380 volts? Okay, let us write the given information. Given, they said what line current will have 380 volts, which means they give us a voltage of 380 volts. Uh, 80 kilowatt, also they give us a power. And how are we going to determine which type of a power? They say it's 80 kilo, kilowatt is measured in what? In what? So it's going to be a, a true power, so which is is p is equals to 80 kilo kilowatt and then we know if it is in kilo it's uh, 80 times 10 to the power to the power 3 and then uh that runs at a full load power factor they also give us the, the power effect which is p pf of 0 comma 8 8 5. all right okay so the question it wants us to calculate what uh, the line current the line current is unknown. So, I, mean, I prefer you to write the given information and then you check what you are looking for. That's why you can have to understand the question more. So, here we are given uh, we are given the uh, voltage, we are given the power, they want us to calculate the current and then as I said, they give us the SI unit. So now we know which type of what of power we are given. Which formula we are going to use? Definitely we are going to use the formula of what? Of a true, of a true power, which is P is equal to VI cos cos theta and then we know as I said the cos theta it represents it's cos what the power vector that's why they give us the, the power vector so some some people that you can just substitute the values first and then when I like to make uh, my i the subject of the formula first and then I I substitute so here I'm going to divide by V cos cos theta V cos cos theta and this one's gonna cancel this one this one's gonna cancel this one and then my current is goes to P over V Cos, cos theta and then 
what is my p? It's given as 80 times 10 to the power, to the power 3, divide by, divide by my cos theta, which is 0, 0,85. And then I'm going to get my current value. 